Hey everybody, it's Emily from Red House Books with another In My Mailbox vlog. I haven't done one in a couple of weeks and I'm actually not going to share with you everything I've bought because it's a lot. My Borders is closing and those emails declaring new percentages off just kind of got me and I can't help but go every couple of days. So I'm just going to show you some of the books I bought. And then I got a really cool book to review um, that came today, actually. But So first, we have Small Town Sinners by Melissa Walker. Oh, my webcam's freaking out tonight. Woo! Anyway, this is it's a contemporary tale um, about faith and religion, which isn't always my thing. But honestly, the cover, I just, I love that cover. I love that apple. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, contemporaries tend to surprise me. I'm usually surprised at how much I enjoy them. So, Next we have Crusade by Nancy Holder and Debbie v Vigu. That's not right. Um, but uh, this one's been out for a little while. I think the second book's already out. Um, vampires and Evil Vampires. Um, I don't know. I knew it was on my wish list for a while. I wanted to read it, so I got it. Next is Huntress by Mel oh, webcam. Melinda Lowe. And um, this one seems like very pure fantasy. It's an entirely, um, takes place in a fantasy world. Um, magic and kinds of awesome stuff. Um, I love fantasy stories, so really looking forward to reading that. Next is Human Point Four by Mike Lancaster. And I've actually I already read this. And reviewed it. Um, I have an arc, but I loved it so much. It's really great science fiction. It's not that long, so um, if you haven't read much science fiction but want to give it a try, this would be a perfect book for that because it'd be it's really easy um, to finish, and the story is really great. Um, I'll probably link up my review so you can see for yourself. But now I have a finished copy. Um, next is Flying Blind by Deborah Cook. This is, it's the Dragon Diaries book number one about dragons, uh, shape-shifting dragons. Kind of like Firelight. Is that the name of I have it somewhere nearby. Maybe not. Um, but I've been seeing it, I don't know, I kept seeing it at the store and I couldn't resist getting it this time around because it was like I don't know, it wound up being like three bucks or something. But um, So I like Dragon, so I'm going to give it a try. Next is Ten Miles Past Normal by I'm going to Francis O'Rourke Dowell. I apologize if I said that totally horribly wrong. Another contemporary um, novel. This is a... Sorry, something's in my eye. Eh, okay. This is a 2011 debut. And again, um... I, honestly, I probably wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't on sale at Borders, because like I said, contemporary is not always my thing, but um, I've heard a lot of good things about this one, so I want to give it a shot. And then the last book I bought was Imaginary Girls by um, Nova, Nova Rensuma, I believe is how you say it. And I love this cover. I've loved this cover since the moment I saw it. And honestly, again, um, I wasn't going to pick it up. I haven't seen, I've seen some reviews that were so-so. Um, some of that, you know, people just really didn't enjoy it. But it's a um, paranormal kind of, there's like two sisters, I believe. Um, something strange happens. So, I don't know, it sounds like a book I would like. So I'm going to give it a shot and see. So those are the books I bought, some of them at least. Um, just a few more things quickly. I got some bookmarks from uh, Scott Tracy, the author of Witch Eyes. I think he has something on his website or his blog, and I signed up to get some bookmarks. I have Witch Eyes. It came out yesterday um, from Flux, and I've read the first chapter or so, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's kind of a unique story, but oh, look at the back. Those are cool. Oh, it looks like my face. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Um... <laughs> But um, if you haven't checked out Witch Eyes, you should, because um, it looks like it's going to be a really great book. And last but not least, I got this awesome box. 
I know it's just a plain white box. Like, why is it awesome? Because I opened it up, and this is what inside. I have no idea what it is. Like, isn't that beautiful? So I open it up. I get, you got to see this. Can you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? Um, the book is called Embrace. The author is Jessica Shervington. Um, it comes out in March. Oh, it's very shiny. March of 2012. And I believe this was originally um, an Australian debut. Um, came out in Australia, I want to say last year, um, if I did my research right. But it's coming out in the U.S. Um, 2012 from Source Books. And I don't know much about it. There's angels, I believe. Um, some weird supernatural powers going on. You see the back? Um, it came with this letter, which says, To my daughter Violet on her 17th birthday. I haven't read it yet. But I'm totally intrigued. Like, I totally just want to dive right into it and figure out what's going on. Because it's just really pretty. I'll put this string back on, too. So that's what I got. Uh, I'm done. Again, there was more books I bought, but I'm not showing you those because you don't really need to see how much of a problem I have. But um, that's it for now. I uh, hope they'll be back next week with another vlog. And my borders isn't quite closed, so I'm sure I'll have another pile. Although there's hardly anything left at this point, but I'm sure I could find a few things. So let me know what you got. Link it up below in the comments. Um, hope you had a great week, and you're going to have a great week, and happy reading, and whatever else. I don't know, rainbows and lollipops and puppies. Oh my. All right. See you later. Bye.